Welcome back to Fishing No Problem. What we're going to do here is cook the trout that we caught today and we're going to do like a Chinese style. Um, so what you want to do first is we have already scaled the trout and cleaned it and now we're going to cut the trout. So what you want to do is just cut it on an angle. So depending on how big your trout is, is going to depend on how many cuts you're going to do through it. So for this particular trout, I'll probably do about four slices. So four slices was enough for this one. Um, so what we've got here is we've got ginger and garlic. So what you want to do with that is just put a little bit in each of the cuts and that's just going to bring out the flavour in the end. So you want to have more garlic to ginger, so about two parts garlic and one part ginger. And then, where's my spoon going? There it is. Just get it right in there. And then flip it over and do the other side. If you've got any leftover, you can just spread it over the fish as well. So we do have some more here. And I'm just going to spread that over. So we've got our preheated fry pan here. Now what we've done is we've got some water on the bottom of the pan and then you also want to have a rack in there because we want to steam the fish, not boil it. So I'm just going to chuck some salt in here and pop your fish in. And then I'm just going to put some salt on top of the fish as well. This is actually a really easy dish to make. All you really need is to get the fish, but it is so yum. So trust me, when you see this, you're going to want to try it. We've just come back to check on our fish. So what you want to look for is the fish coming off the bone. So we're going to check that now. It's hot. So it's still stuck to the bone a little bit. So we're going to leave it for a few more minutes. What I am going to do though, is put some chili around the edges. Normally we would put chili in through the cuts with the ginger and the garlic, but not everybody loves chili. Um, so just do it for taste or you don't have to add it in at all if you don't want to. Um, but I'm just going to pop some in the water to add a little bit of flavour for you. And then I'm going to pop the lid back on and check it again in about three minutes or so. It's been a couple more minutes. We are going to see if the fish is lifting off the bone now. So it's ready to go. We've got some soy sauce here. We're going to pour some over the top of the fish, just like this. What we're also going to do is put our straw and our oyster mushrooms in. You can pretty much get them from any Chinese shop. So these are your straw mushrooms. And then what have we got here? Yep, so our straw mushrooms here. You can get any brand really, but we just picked up this one. And then you've got your oyster mushrooms or abalone mushrooms as well. So we also just picked up that one. So we're going to chuck those ones in, spread them around. Oh, 
I dropped one. They kind of look weird. <laughs> They kind of look like eyeballs. Now we're going to chuck the lid back on and leave it for about another five minutes or so. So sit back and have a drink and we'll check it soon. That looks so good. So excited. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> and cut. So the fish is done now. Ooh, it's nice and red. Now the soy sauce and the chili, and we've got some oil over here while that's been cooking. You need to make sure that the oil is very, very hot. It's boiling. What we're gonna do is we're going to pour the oil over the fish and that's going to glaze the skin and make like a really nice broth with the chili and the soy sauce. So it has to be very hot. So be really careful when you're pouring this over because it might splash back on you. tipped over that's going to crisp up the skin now with the ginger garlic chili soy sauce the boiled water and the mushrooms that's all going to blend in together really nicely and that's going to make a really nice broth to tip over the fish and the rice when we combine it all together so we'll show you what that looks like in a minute I've had a few wines. Uh, are we good? Yeah. All right. So once you've drunk about a bottle of wine, your fish should be ready. <laughs> now, I've prepared a nice little rice here. We are going to, I want the wings, so I'm gonna dibs that first. Mm. Just falling off. Yum. Always go for the wing, it's the best part. Yum. Pop your fish on. Now you've got your nice broth in here. So we're going to get that on top with your mushrooms. Oh. So excited. There you go. It does not get much better than this. Yum. Well, I hope you enjoyed our cooking video, guys. I've really enjoyed showing this dish. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites. It's really easy to make. Um, so yeah, if you like what we're doing, please leave a comment. We can do some more cooking videos for you. Um, we can, we do have a fish to make a numbers. So if you want to have a numbers, which is also called raw fish, um, then please let us know and subscribe and we'll do that for you. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of wing. How'd you get the wing? You get the wing. But how did you get the wing if I have the wing? I just got a bit of fin. Good? Mm. You can like taste that little bit of chili, but it's not.
strong.